Welcome, pool guys and gals, to the Let's Talk About Pools podcast, where your host, Lauren Broom, will take a splash into many topics in the pool industry to educate all aquatic professionals. Listen in, and you just might be surprised what you'll learn. So let's jump right in. Welcome, everybody, today to the Let's Talk About Pools podcast. And on today's episode, we're going to talk about the skimmy. I'm interviewing Monica Speak, who's the owner of the skimmy. I met her in Orlando at the Everything Under the Sun Florida Swimming Pool Association pool show last year. And it was really cool. Everybody was flocking to her booth. It, she's not a pool company, but just a homeowner that had a pool and came up with a great idea that actually helps the pool service industry as well. If you've ever wondered what's in the skimmer basket, at least you can use this to help get it out and to clean it. I also want to thank today's sponsor of the podcast, Skimmer. Thank you so much for continuing your education and podcast sponsorship with the Let's Talk About Pools podcast. So let's jump right into this episode after this moment with our podcast sponsor. This is Skimmer, software for the modern pool professional. What can you do with Skimmer? See all your customers on a map, build service routes quickly, and let Skimmer optimize them for you. Access customer information, including contact details and full service history anytime and anywhere. Customize work orders to track jobs like repairs and filter cleanings. Email your customers when you complete a service. You can include service details and on-site photos. Does your customer need a part? Add it to the shopping list and track it from purchase to installation. Skimmer will even remind you what parts you need for the day, and you can mark them as installed right when you're finished. Skimmer doesn't just store your service history. It helps you get paid. We integrate with QuickBooks Online for fast, easy invoicing. And we've got more billing options coming soon. All that's just the beginning. Go to GetSkimmer.com to watch our demo video, check out our online tutorials, and see if Skimmer is right for you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my podcast. Let's talk about pools today. And today's guest on today's episode is Monica Speak, the inventor and president of the Skimmy. Welcome today. Thanks, Lauren. How are you doing? Doing awesome. It's a beautiful day here in Georgia and just outside enjoying the, the nice breeze. Tell me a little bit about you and your company and how did you come up with the skimmy? Yeah, great. Um, well, as you can see behind me, that's our pool. We bought it in 2018, bought a house with a pool. We had never owned a pool before. And my husband, unfortunately, um, right after we bought the house, got laid off from his job. So we had to um, ask our pool boy to put on pause because we couldn't afford it. We wanted to make sure just to, you know, keep everything and, and not spend too much money. And my husband started to take care of the pool himself. And it was January and he was about to start a new job and he was cleaning out the skimmer. It was freezing cold. It was full of leaves, bugs, debris. And he's like, I don't want to stick my hand in there. And he thought there's just got to be a better way. So he started making a prototype of the skimmy, literally went to Home Depot and got a pipe and a net. And he just made a prototype of it. And um, we started, we unfortunately couldn't find a manufacturer here in the U.S. to to help us. We were so small and didn't know what we were doing as far as manufacturing. Um, we found a manufacturer in China. They're really great people. Um, they were new as well to the business. So we created a really good partnership and we're growing together and they helped us refine the skimmy and really bring it to life and bring it to market. So this is actually just our second summer um, with the skimmy and it's just done really, really well. We're just so thrilled about it. Um, we're a small company. We do everything ourselves. So it's been a lot of hard work, but very gratifying as well. So it was a product that you created out of being a homeowner that was like, there's gotta be a better way to do this. I don't want to get yeah. bit by something or stick. I don't want to stick. That's the big thing. You see all that stuff in your skimmer. You're like, I don't want to stick my hand in that. I don't know what's in there. Yeah. I mean, we found the, the grossest thing I found was really the dead rat that really just, I was like, oh my God, because sometimes my husband travels and I've got to do it. Um, and there's no way I'm sticking my hand in there. Um, <laughs> snakes. I found a snake there, you know, spiders, and I'm just not doing it. Um, we have a lot of customers that that have bad knees or bad backs, and they are just like, it is a lifesaver for them. There's so many good benefits to the skimmy, not just 
keeping your hand out of there, <laughs> but that's a big one. Awesome. So what's the scariest skimmer story you've ever heard? So the scariest skimmer story I've ever heard was really from my brother-in-law. They had a pool when they lived in Arizona. You know, Arizona is, is famous for spiders and snakes. And it was actually a black widow. And he oh literally thought I could have died. You know, <laughs> it was it was really bad. So that's really the scariest story I've heard. The scariest story I've, I've personally experienced is, is finding a dead rat in the skimmer well. It was it was so gross. I mean, it, I had a, a, a lady tell me it's like death soup in there and I'm certainly not putting my hand in it. So that, that was a couple of really scary ones, um, you know, along with typical snakes and, and other types of spiders. So it's not a fun thing to do. I don't care how manly you are. You still don't want to get bit by a spider. It's not one, than a, not one yeah. like a black widow either. Right. I do exactly. have a picture that I had gotten from one of our local pool contractors that services pools right here in Florida. And he had taken a picture of a coral snake that he had found in his skimmer basket when he opened it. And those are poisonous down here. So yeah. there you go. If he had at least the skimmy, he'd be a little bit further away trying to get the skimmer basket out and tr even try to use that as the the, to get the snake out maybe and keep it away. So yeah, truly. <laughs> the the well, stainless steel hook is great for taking the snake, you know, four feet away from you yeah. and, and getting rid of it. Lots of good uses there for it. <laughs> there is, yes. What are the top three things uh, people like about the skimmy? Great question. Um, I think Obviously, not having to stick their hand in the cold, nasty, critter-infested water is the number one thing. Um, I would think that the number two thing that people really love about the skimmy is not having to bend down, not having to, um, you know, bend over. Maybe your phone's in your pocket; it falls out. We've got some some older customers who have told us that, you know, they're scared they might fall in the pool if they bend over. So um, that's a really great benefit. And I think thirdly, just the small, the fine mesh net, being able to put that back into the skimmer well after you've taken out your basket really helps because there is debris that falls out inevitably. And if you're a service professional, you're probably just sticking your hand right in there trying to get it. With the skimmy small net, it fits right into the well to get that out. So I think those are really our top three um, benefits, but there's, there's plenty of others too. Yeah. And it sounds like this product is good for homeowners, but it's also awesome for pool companies, service Absolutely. techs and that kind of thing to have another tool to use while they're at the pool. That's going to help them from getting bit or attacked or whatever it's going to be out there while right. they're servicing our pool. And, you know, a lot of our pool professionals too, we tell them because, you know, if you're like us, you got a lot of trees in your backyard, even if we had a full full-time pool professional once a week is not going to do it when these leaves start falling. I mean, it starts to wear on your equipment because the skimmers are just jam packed for an entire week. So we really encourage them to tell their homeowners about it because homeowners typically won't clean out their skimmers because they don't want to touch it. It's gross. This gives the homeowner a way to feel confident that even if my pool professional isn't around for the three days, the leaves are falling, I can still safely easily take out my skimmer basket and clean it out. And then when your pool professional gets there, they'll be very thankful <laughs> that it's not jam packed with leaves. It, it makes their, their service day a little bit easier. I'm sure when they walk in and that's jam packed, they're like, Oh my gosh, this, this is more work to do. So that's Absolutely. nice that it's going to help their day as well. Maybe it'll, they'll walk in and go, Oh, this is nice. The homeowner's done a little bit for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so explain like what the skimmy or, or, and you could show us too, cause this will be on the YouTube channel too. So if you have one nearby, what does the sure. skimmy look like? And then audibly while you're showing it so that people listening on the podcast can kind of envision what does it look like and what's on the pole and that kind of thing. So the skimmy comes with two of these yellow handles. They screw into the bottom of your skimmer basket with two stainless steel screws that are provided so even if you have a bar across here, we simply took ours out and use this as the handle. The great thing of the skimmy is this end is a stainless steel hook. 
It's super strong. We've actually put a 25 pound weight on it. So we have an eight pound concrete lid here. I lift it off with every day. And the great thing is you can go in and get your skimmer basket without touching it, without bending down. Um, this pole's 58 inches, so it's plenty big enough for that. Now the other end is a fine mesh net. Now that goes back into the skimmer well once you have your basket out to get all that fine debris that we talked about floating back into the skimmer well. So that's the really great thing about the skimmy. It's really super lightweight. It's real easy to use. Our kids, we have three kids, they'll grab a skimmy, go around the pool, pick up debris. It's just the kids like to use it too because it's a cool tool. Wow, that's pretty ingenious that you Thank came you. up with that. Uh, I, 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 it amazes me the things people come up with that I'm like, why didn't I think of that to make lives easier, you know? It's, it's, yeah, we've had plenty of customers like, oh my gosh, I've been using a coat hanger. Yeah. I've been using my tongs to get it out because I don't want to touch <laughs> it. So yeah, I think people definitely, there was a, a need for this in the market, definitely. Yeah, so it seems like it's a pretty versatile tool. So you kind of, it's, let's recap all the ways that it can be used again. Yeah, so the great thing is you don't have to bend down to take off your skimmer lid. You don't have to bend down or put your hand in the critter infested water because the hook will actually pick up the handle that's into the basket. And then the fine mesh net can go back into the skimmer well to get the debris that fell out so it doesn't go back into your filtration system. And then it's really easy to use around the pool for those onesies, twosies. You've got a leaf that fell in there. You can easily just grab it. It's, it's so much more convenient than the big pole that we all have. Um, so that's a great use for it too. Uh, we've had some pool professionals that tell us they love the shape of it because they have some clients that have pools that are very um, unique designs where maybe there might be a narrow passageway that they can't get their big net through. So the fact that the skimmy is small and compact really helps them get to that part of the pool more easily. And, and I want the listeners on here, which mostly pool service techs and that sort of thing, then homeowners, there might be some homeowners listening. I don't know. But I want the pool service techs to understand this is a really good product, even for you guys to actually be using for the thing, reasons that she just stated. So that was why I asked that uh, Monica to be on my podcast, because I knew this tool could be used for pool service companies and not just homeowners. So, yeah, and we've had a lot of um, pool builders that we've talked to as well that want to leave that as part of the homeowner package, um, because, again, it, it's great for service professionals. Absolutely. But it's also great for them to tell their clients about to make their jobs easier because their clients will use the skimmy to clean the skimmer basket, but they're not going to stick their hand in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I completely agree. And, and just to give everybody kind of a, I met Monica at the Orlando, everything under the sun pool show, which was actually the first pool show in the nation that was in person down here in Orlando since COVID-19 started a year ago. So this was what yeah, it was uh, fabulous. You, you hadn't been at a pool show for quite a while. How did it feel to be showing off your products at the pool show? It was awesome. I mean, I love to be around people and I love to really demonstrate the product. I think, um, you know, people don't understand. They're like, oh, what's that small net? So I love to be able to de demonstrate it to people to let them actually touch it and feel how lightweight it is, how easy it is to use. Um, there's just nothing like being in person and all of our packaging. We have a QR code it actually shows a video of how it's used, which I think is also very helpful, but there's nothing like being face-to-face. -face. Can't beat I, it. I totally agree. <laughs> so my understanding is you do have some other products that you invented as well. Do I mention those briefly? Yeah, thank you. So over the COVID summer, you know, we were locked down just like everybody else and didn't have a lot to do. So we started thinking about other things that we might need around the pool. We kind of want to own the skimmer well there. Um, so we've got several more products that are actually coming in on Monday. One um, is the skimmy sock lock, which we can talk more about at another time. Um, another is the skimmy happy tab and the skimmy scoop. And they're all on our website at www.theskimmy.com. 
We're also on Amazon, homedepot.com. Um, we're in some pinch a penny stores and um, we're also just about to launch on all the Leslie's websites. They're uploading us right now. So we'll be on their websites as well. That's exciting. Wow. You Thank made you. some really good partnerships there. Yes. So, you know, I got to ask this question. Are you going to go on Shark Tank? <laughs> yeah, well, we do get that question a lot. I do think we have a pretty cool story since my husband and I have not ever been in the pool industry, um, which I can absolutely with so much um, enthusiasm say it is the best industry to be in. Everybody is so nice, so cool. I mean, we just really love the people, the service people, the distributors, the the customers. It's just been a really fun and we feel so blessed to have stumbled into this industry. Um, but as far as Shark Tank goes, you know, it's definitely on our list, but we watch Shark Tank all the time and we know what needs to happen first to be really successful. So I think we'll get this year under our belt and, and maybe next year we'll apply and, and see if we can go on there. So we'll definitely give you guys a shout out if we get to go on. Aren't you a little scared to step in front of Mr. Wonderful? No, because, you know, we're just, we love what we're doing. We're so excited about it. We know from the feedback from everyone that we um, have spoken to or have bought our products that it's a need out there, that people really love it. And, you know, if they make us a, a good enough deal, we're not going to give away, you know, too much of our company. Um, it's just my husband and I right now. We have three kids that one day we'd like to give this business to if we can. Um, but I think it would be just an exciting opportunity to be in front of them. And, and even if we didn't take a deal, I know there's so many benefits um, just being on there. Well, it's been a pleasure uh, talking with you today. So let's recap at the end here. Where can they find you again? Sure. Our website is www.theskimmie.com. All of our products are on there. Um, we're also on homedepot.com. Leslie's is bringing us on to their website, um, not just Leslie's, but in the swim and pool supply world, which is also Leslie's companies. Um, we're in some pinch a penny stores. If you would like to go in person there in Florida, a lot of people have us in their stores and we've got a really, really exciting new product that we're refining. I'm not going to tell you about it, but I'm going to tease you about it. Well, thank you for being on my episode today, Monica. It was a pleasure to have you. And I'm so glad I got to meet you in person when you were down here in Orlando in uh, February of 2021. Thank you, Lauren. It's been an honor to be on your show. And we look forward to, to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for diving in today with the Let's Talk About Pools podcast. Be sure to follow us on our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. And feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts so more aquatic professionals like you can learn about the show. We appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next episode of the Let's Talk About Pools podcast.